Well, if you are a Lightroom and uh, Adobe Creative Cloud subscriber and you have updated Lightroom, you might see a screen that looks like this on your latest update. Well, folks, my name is Matt Laskowski, and in this video, we're gonna spend a few minutes here to take a look at just everything that's inside of that screen. Uh, this is late June, 2018, and Lightroom got a small update, so there's a couple of new features kind of mainly around preset and profile management, but also a couple of other things. And really, probably one of my favorite new features actually comes with Lightroom Mobile, and I'll, I'll run through a list of what's changed uh, in there as well with these latest updates. So let's go ahead and dive in here. Well, first off, if uh, you're in the develop module, the first two things are gonna be preset and profile related. So let's go, uh, let's go over here to the presets panel first. And if you go to the top of the presets panel here and you click on that little plus icon, you're gonna see there's a, a little thing here. It says manage presets now. So what this is gonna do is open up a dialog box that lets you decide if you want to show or not show a certain preset folder. All right, so as you look through here, it's basically, it's basically showing you all of the different preset folders that Lightroom has. And then you can go in here and turn those off. So, you know, at first glance, I, I personally thought, well, if I don't want them here, I'll usually get rid of them. But then I kind of realized at times I, I go through moods and, and editing phases. You know, there there's six months where, you know what, I, I'm not doing any black and white. And then there's six months where I do a lot of black and white now. So it, it can really kind of vary. So if you're kind of one of those those people that you're like, hey, let me clean this up so that I don't see quite as many things here. Like, you know, maybe I... I probably don't want to see the classic Lightroom presets inside of here anymore. I never really used them to begin with. So I probably don't need to see those, but at the same time, I'm, I'm a little bit hesitant to always just delete things. So that's a good thing to just go in there and hide them. So when you click save and you come back over here, your presets panel is, it's now cleaned up. You're not going to see as many of those folders in there, but they don't go away. You can always come back over here, manage presets, and you can, of course, turn them back on. All right, let's get over to the next one. The next one's gonna be in the profile section. If you don't have a profile section, that means you're not using, you didn't update the last version of Lightroom. Um, so this is uh, this is for the, the latest version of Lightroom that at least came out in April of 2003. But of course, to, to see what I'm about to show you here, you'd need the, the latest version that came out um, a couple of days ago, and this is in late June. So we go over here to profiles, and we'll go ahead and click on it, and I can expand my profile grid here. And what you're going to notice is you've got all these different profile photos folders here, just like we have inside of presets. Well, if you right click on any one of those profile folders, you're going to get one that says manage profiles. So I can go in here and I get the same deal. I can go in there and I can turn on, uh, I can turn on or off any of these profile folders. So if I find I'm not using something, but I'm afraid to get rid of it permanently, uh, I can jump in here and just turn it off and then uh, always come back in here and turn it on just like I could the presets. Now, this would be a great time to mention, if you haven't seen it, I actually have a, I've got a profile bundle and uh, it's on a, it's actually on sale right now. Uh, so it's got a whole bunch of different profiles. You'll see I've got four different profile packs. I know there's a, there's a duplicate of where there's a free profile sample that you can download on the website as well. So it's over at mattk.com slash profiles. Again, there's a little free profile sample pack if you want to download them. And then there's uh, four different packages that can come in a bundle. It's on a really good discount right now. So if you want to go check that out. All right. One more thing that you're going to, uh, that's kind of preset related. You may or may not have noticed in the last uh, update to Lightroom that presets now, when we hover over them, it actually changes the photo. So, you know, as with any, as, as with any improvement, because I think it's a, it's actually a great thing. Some people found it distracting. And then the other thing is it is, it is semi recent, uh, resource intensive, uh, meaning it can slow things down on certain computers. If you don't like it, or if you find that it's slowing things down, you can go over here to your Lightroom preferences, and then you can go over to performance and you will see. Uh, there's a little checkbox here, enable hover preview of presets and loops. So if I turn that off and I come back over here, now when I hover over, nothing happens. I'm actually going to go turn it back on because what's going to happen is I will forget later on and I will think Lightroom's broke. So let's turn that one back on there. But I think it's a good thing. But if, if you don't, you can always go in there and you can hide it so it doesn't happen anymore. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go for the next feature here. I'm gonna grab a couple of photos or a few photos that I would merge together into a pano. 
and we'll head up here to photo photo merge panorama uh, i'm going to click on there's a new little checkbox here called create stack so what that's going to do is it's going to it's going to stack these photos together and it's going to take the resulting pano and put that into the stack or the group with it and i'm, I'm going to crank boundary warp to 100 because i kind of always feel like it should be 100 so uh, i'll click merge here and so what it's doing here, as you can see, it's, it's the, the progress bar. It's making the panorama. It's stitching all these photos together. It's going to create that new one. And then right now I'm in a collection set, but I'm going to right click on one of these photos and I'm going to say, go to the folder in the library. Okay. Cause generally collection sets, sometimes you don't, you see or don't see everything um, that you do to the photos. Cause some of that stuff gets put back in the folder. But the idea here is now we have this stack. If you look, you can expand and collapse it. Now I've got my pano. And the, the idea usually is, is you know, we're, we're looking through our photos and I don't really wanna look through the panoramic photos, the photos that made up the pano every time I start to, to look through my grid. I really just care about the top one, which is the pano. But if you wanna expand the stack, then you get those photos inside of there. All right, uh, last one here. Let's head over to the library module and we'll take a look at our folders panel. So what we can do now is we can color code folders. So as an example here, if I were to right click on a folder, you'll see that now I have an option here to add a color label. So I can add a color label for red. Uh, if I right click on another one, I can go in here and add another color label. Maybe I'll do red for that one and I'll do one more here. I'll do uh, add a color label and I'll make it green. So you can see you get these little color labels over there, which is kind of cool visually, especially if you're working on certain projects that you know you want to make sure they're always pretty easy to spot. Um, that could be something that you can turn on and turn off as you need. And then the other thing is, is when you come up to filter through your folders, when you look in this little address bar here, if you click on the little magnifying glass, that will let you search through labeled folders. So now I can go and I can just filter, or I shouldn't say search, but I can just filter to just see my labeled folders. And of course, now I can uh, search through those folders as well inside of there. And when you wanna turn that off, just click on the little magnifying glass and just go back over here to all and your folder view will look just like it did before. All right, uh, last thing here is uh, some updates to Lightroom Mobile on your, uh, your tablets and your phones. I'm gonna jump to a little screen capture that I took. I actually took it from uh, Lightroom Mobile inside of there. So uh, it's got a little what's new section in there and I'll kind of tell you all about what's new. I'm not gonna go over every single one of them, just kind of call out a few things. There, there's actually some pretty neat things inside of here. So uh, if you are a Lightroom Mobile user, you definitely wanna take a look at it. Uh, one of the biggest ones, sync presets and profiles. So if you have created your own profiles, which I'll make sure I put a link because I, I created a video on how to just do that. I'll make sure I put a link to that in the description. And then uh, if you've purchased any profiles, hint, hint, from somebody like mattk.com slash profiles, um, if you've got any of your own, you can now sync them over to your tablet and your phone, which is pretty neat. Uh, there's, Stay tuned for another video on that because it actually doesn't automatically sync. You have to go through Lightroom CC to do that, but, uh, but they will do it. Uh, you can create and manage your own presets, uh, healing brush. So now we can uh, use a healing brush inside of Lightroom Mobile, chromatic aberration. This one looks pretty cool, long exposure technology preview. Technology preview kind of means like, hey, we're not gonna call it a full-fledged feature yet, but we think it's pretty cool and you'll wanna try it out and we're, we're working on it. So uh, you can see that it's available for certain phones in there. Um, guided tutorials on the technology preview. Uh, what's new dialogue, the, uh, there's a couple different support formats and, uh, and legacy preset groups, uh, which include presets from previous versions of Lightroom. So definitely some new stuff to take a look at on the phone or the tablet if you're using that. Again, folks, uh, if you uh, like these videos, do me a huge favor. I've got a YouTube channel. I've got a Facebook page. Uh, subscribe or like there. I do lots of videos. And uh, if you, as they say on YouTube, you know, ring the bell if you subscribe and that way you get notifications. And uh, on, on Facebook, when you like the page, you'll actually have a notification area for every page you like if you want to get notifications of new videos. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you again real soon.